Good morning, traders. Today is Monday, February 27th, about 20 minutes before opening bell, and we have a gap warning. This one's tricky, though. This one is tricky. And let me turn on my pointer. You can see it better. Okay. This morning, we gapped up right there. We gapped up. However, we have a wick down. Well, actually, it's a wick. It's a wick, it's a wick up, but it's a wick that went down to fill the gap. That's what I mean. It's a wick up that fills the gap, okay? Now, it's it's going for 400, 399. Basically, it's going for 390, well, 401 is the weekly EMA 50, okay? 401, right there. You see it right there. We're going to get into a more granular slide, but this is a high level right now. <clears throat> this is the one-hour chart. <clears throat> RSI, 98. That is through the roof, okay? 98. Now, keep in mind, the one-hour MACD is right at the zero line, right at the zero line. It's where it could, and I think it, uh, I think it probably will come up to the, uh, likely the 401 area and then get rejected because that's where the, the weekly EMA 50 is. And then it's going to stop right at the zero line, and it's going to be forced to come down and consolidate again so that it can try again. But I think that's what we're looking at. Uh, yeah, see right here, 401. Look at this. This is the weekly EMA 50 band right here. I think <clears throat> I'm watching it real time right now. It's 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 back testing. It's back testing to 399.60 right now. Right, it's, it's right here. It's coming back down because I think it opened the bell. It's going to come back up. It's gonna it's gonna do like a, a a pump or something, and it's either gonna get rejected at 420 this blue line, or it's gonna or it's gonna go if it makes a B line. I think it's gonna make a B line for 401, and that's why I think it's gonna get its initial uh, rejection. Okay, so be careful. Here's the gap. Here's that wick. So I'm I'm asking a question: Is it a wick fill? Uh, there what? Well, there currently is bearish divergence right here but that divergence could be invalidated if it keeps going up also so we could be looking at okay so here's the gap keep in mind on friday in the final 30 minutes it successfully retook the ema 50 right here it retook it in 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 uh in in, in the regular trading day so that therefore it doesn't necessarily have to come back and retake it here in the morning. See what I mean? It doesn't have to because it already took it back in the final 30 minutes. So this is this has a lot of conflicting data. Is it basically it boils down to this? Is it going to be one, a gap and go, two, a gap and crap, or three, gap and go in the morning, crap in the afternoon? It's going to be one of those three, okay? So, yeah, that's what it boils down to. You got to you got to react to this. I can't tell you which one it's going to be. But I think if it makes a beeline in the morning, first thing at opening bell, it's going straight for this, 401.11. It's going straight for this weekly band. This is the weekly EMA 50 that has denied the markets in all of 2022. So keep that in mind. So I, I do expect if it makes a beeline straight for it, oh, you're going to get rejected. You're not just going to take that back. There's no way. So you're going to get rejected if it makes a beeline. Or it could re get rejected right here at 420. You see what I mean? It's already right there. Um, it's now, it's now, it came down and it's now consolidating right under 399.80 right here. It's consolidating right here as I'm talking. So whew, this is this is what I got for you guys. You just got to be careful. I don't know which way, which one of these scenarios is going to play out, but. Just know that if it makes a beeline right at opening bell, uh, I, I wouldn't go long. That's that's going to be a pump, and then it's going to be a dump. You're going to get a massive rejection if it makes a beeline at opening bell. You're going to get a massive rejection right here at 401.11. Okay, then that's when it might come. Well, that, I, I don't. I'm not going to say it might. If it gets rejected, if and when it gets rejected at 401.11, oh, well, it's going to come back down, and then it might come back down and retest this EMA 50 down here at 398. See what I mean? And then it might say, well, let's just go ahead and go ahead and fill that gap too. Okay, so you got to stay on your toes here, guys. You got to react. React accordingly. I'm just telling you what to watch for. That's all I've got. I will talk to you on Twitter or at uh, Market Recap.